the programs that are run in the school have to be unique, that will become holistic in, in kind of this, the background of the kid is considered so as to build the, 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 the future of this kid and to retain them in school. Purity Teratich is quietly undertaking her mock examinations. The last trial in preparation for Kenya national examinations in two weeks' time. But the glamour of education and success is far-fetched if you are in her shoes. Sitting on a writing desk and in a classroom is a privilege accorded to only the candidates. For the past seven years, this has been her lifestyle in the school, studying under a tree, writing on her thighs while seated on stones. These are standard two pupils at AIC Sunrise School in East Pokot. Their thirst for knowledge is evident from their voices. This class of about 20 is learning mathematics from their teacher Jen, but they have to make do with a tree. Give me a motivation to come and teach them because uh, looking at the situation in our classes, it's unbearable. But uh, when you look at these children, they come uh, in good number, in large number. So that tells you this is what they want to learn. But who is to facilitate the learning? It is high. So suppose if I stay away from class, then it becomes also another challenge. So that's the reason why I wake up early in the morning to come and give them what they uh, need from me. Owing to the unforgivable scorching sun in the area, these peoples have to move from one tree to another in search of a shade. <laughs> Nevertheless, the many challenges have done nothing to dampen their zeal for knowledge. The performance are good, really. In fact, they are average, most of the children are average. We have others who are doing better. They are doing good. Actually, if they can get what the other children are getting in other institutions, I think this will be one of the best schools in this sub-county. The school cropped from an orphanage. It also acted as a rescue center for vulnerable girls threatened by early marriages and female genital mutilation. Due to many cases of them being stolen back by their family members, Pastor Yusuf Lasute wanted to retain them. And not only that, he wanted to give them a better future through education. We started as a nursery school in the, in the church class one, class two, uh, then class three. And we started that way, in a small way. And uh, it has peaked now, but uh, the challenge, we are no punished. But the, the pupils could come in big numbers. 15-year-old James Lomukut brought himself to the center. His parents are a set of drunkards and having nothing to do with him and his siblings. All he needed was food and shelter for him and his three siblings. Five years down the line, he has never seen nor heard from them. So, mbaka sahi, wakati nilende class five, kaulisa tena. Kuna mwenye anasema, tunajua, tunajua mali anaishi. Tena tulikuwa, 2016, sahi niko class six. 2016 tena, tukaulisa, duchu mali, padu wako. For now, these peoples choose to focus on the academics, blindfolding their harsh learning environment until something is done.